On the inside of every person is an emotional tank that needs to be filled with love. On the inside of every person is an emotional tank that needs to be filled with love. Just imagine it like a small propane tank that you use for your outside grill. Every once in a while you've got to run down to the store to get it refilled. Well on the inside of us, there's a love tank that needs to be filled. But here's the key, I cannot fill my own tank. It's got to be filled by the people that I'm in relationship with. In other words, if I'm going to have a healthy marriage, then I've got to make it a priority of keeping Victoria's love tank filled. The challenge is, I can't fill it with what I need. I've got to fill it with what she needs. I can't fill it with what I need. I've got to fill it with what she needs. It's kind of like a car. If you have a car that takes diesel fuel, you can't put regular gasoline in it and expect it to perform very well. I used to have a weed eater that needed a mixture of gas and oil. I couldn't get tired and say, well, you know what? I'm just going to put plain old gas because I don't feel like going to the trouble of mixing this. If I did that, it'd spit and sputter, and eventually it wouldn't run at all. And in the same way, you've got to find out what kind of fuel your spouse needs for their love tank. What kind of fuel your spouse needs for their love tank. Is it encouragement? Is it going to the ball game with it? Is it giving her gifts? Is it doing the dishes for her? Is it spending quality time? Find out what your mate's love language is. In other words, find out what meets their needs and then give them what they need and not what you need. If I were to ask you today to check the gauge on your mate's love tank, would it be full? Would it be half full? Or are you just running on fumes? Some of you, you have good intentions. You want that relationship to work out, but you've got to study that person and find out what they need. And realize that most likely, your spouse does not speak your same love language. Men and women are different. We have different goals. We have different hormones. We've been raised in different environments. Some people come from an environment where the family showed a lot of affection. Other people were raised by people that didn't express their love very well. Some people are very naturally kind and considerate and caring, while others are very focused and goal-oriented. Those people are not trying to be insensitive to your needs. They're just wired differently They're than you are. Wired They're, just wired differently. They're just wired differently They're than you are. It's so easy to get stuck in a rut. It's easy to make excuses and say, well, Joel, I'm just not an affectionate person. Or I'm just not used to spending time communicating with my spouse. That's not the way I was raised. You know, if you're going to have healthy relationships, you've got to be willing to change. And it may be a little uncomfortable at first, but if you'll continue to do it, over time, it'll get easier and easier, and you'll begin to see the rewards. That relationship will improve. And the reason some of you are having difficulties today, the reason some of you aren't fulfilled, is not because you're a bad person. It's not because you don't want it to work out. It's simply because you speak a different love language than your spouse. And you're giving it everything you've got. The problem is, you're just giving it the wrong thing. You're trying to put regular gasoline into a car that needs diesel. And I'm asking you today to be sensitive and find out what your mate needs. Listen to him. Listen to her. And you may think that your marriage is too far gone. You may think that relationship is hopeless. But let me tell you, if you will make minor adjustments, it can make major changes. And even if you've been that way 10 or 15 years, if you'll take to heart what I'm saying and make it a priority to keep your mate's love tank full, if you'll make the first move, you'll see the other person begin to change. Your action will cause them to treat you in a different way. Who you call?